before I actually start showing you how I operate a lift bridge on my own, I want to make it very clear that this is how I do it and not perhaps the way everybody does it, but it's the way I find it best to do. Anyway, what I'm actually doing here is I move my centre rope so I can get it from the front of the boat. And I'm flipping it down the boat as you can see here. Now, I'm doing this before I set off this morning because I know I have a lift bridge literally 150, 200 yards down the canal. I also have the bow rope ready, although I don't use it every lift bridge. I'm now approaching the lift bridge and the moor up as anyone would to operate this lift bridge on the towpath side because there's not really enough room for me to stop on the non towpath side and then I'll show you what I do. I haven't actually moored, I've just actually stopped the boat so I can jump off with the other centre line. slowing the boat down because I don't want it to bash into the bridge I just want to hold it a few inches short if I do just gently touch it I will just push it back slightly it's rather difficult coming down here on the Angoflin canal because this is actually flowing and it does pick up speed the water flow through these narrow pinch points Right, I've now just about stopped the boat here. You can see I'm pulling on the rope. I'm not worried about where the boat is, particularly on the canal, except for I don't want to ram the bridge. You can see it's a little bit short. I'm just gathering up the bow rope here. I'm going to throw it across to the bank this side where the camera is just in case I need it. I'm not sure I'll actually need to use the bow rope, but it can't do any harm having it ready. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. I end up by not actually doing the operation of this lift bridge, a lady comes along from a boat coming in the opposite direction and does this one for me. This is me just leaving the Whitchurch Arm where I spent the night. And of course there is a lift bridge right here at the end of the arm. So here I go again, setting the centre line, ready for pulling the boat through. And I've realised because I have quite long centre lines and this lift bridge is only pulled up by chains, I can actually reach through here, look, pass the rope around the back of the chain and walk it across. So I'm only needing the centre line and around the upright of the structure of the lift bridge. And that I'm now just going to quickly tie off on that single mushroom bollard. Like so. So here goes time to wind up the bridge. As you can see the flow of the waters actually moved my boat forward slightly here. But the bridge is up above it now and it's just touched it there with the front fender. No damage done of course. Windy windy we go. They're not particularly difficult to wind up. 
Let's take quite a few wines, that's all. And we're almost there. Bump. There she is. Right, now to grab the middle rope and pull the boat through. There it goes. This is with the flow, so it's not that difficult. And I don't want the boat to be going too fast, particularly, because I have to stop it when it gets to the other side of the bridge. And the momentum will carry it through quite easily. I'm more pulling it towards me to make sure it keeps against this side of the bridge hole so that I can actually grab the boat the other side. So it's going quite nicely now. Then it go through on its own. Now I'm just going to tidy up the rope and lay it back on the roof for use again. Make sure there's no knots in it. And there we go. Back on the roof. I'll tidy it up properly when I get back on the boat. Let's go to the other side. I now have a little banter with the with the guy on the work boat, uh, telling him I'm probably going to hit him because he's bored in a bad spot. And he jokes about it. He said, oh, I wonder who's bored in a bad spot. <laughs> we have a bit of a laugh. Anyway, slowing the boat down here. Making sure I keep hold of it. And they're going to grab the stern rope and tie the stern rope off on the mushroom bollard this side of the lift bridge now that's done I can come back and lower the bridge back down <laughs> after of course a little bit more banter now here it goes time to lower the bridge it goes down easier than it comes up, of course, because of the weight of the bridge. Down she goes. There she is. And that's how you do a lift bridge on your own. So there it is, done. Time to move on. The next lift bridge, I guess. I think the work we're actually doing along here is putting more mooring in for Whitchurch. I do hope they leave a space next to the bridge so one can operate the bridge from the off towpath side. But pretty much guess they won't. Anyway, it'd be nice to have some more mooring for the Whitchurch branch, well this isn't the Whitchurch branch of course, but for access in Whitchurch. Whitchurch is a very useful place along the Langhoffland Canal to stop and fill up with provisions. Plus we go past here where they're putting in some new pylon for mooring just outside the Whitchurch branch. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I brought this video to you because I was asked by many of my subscribers who are also boaters, how do I cope with lift bridges on my own? Well, I hope this gives you some insight on how I do them. They're not particularly difficult to do on your own. They just take a little bit longer and you have to follow certain procedures so you don't leave your boat on the wrong side of the canal uh, without you on it. But besides that, it's not difficult. And I hope it helps people out. Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and if it helps you out. Well, I must thank, of course, all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Your support goes a long way in the making of these videos. I want to also thank everybody for watching. 
and everybody for subscribing. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that old bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well, that brings me to the end of this. Just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. And I do think that's some unusual camouflage paint on this boat.